In 2019, Dairy Queen moved its headquarters to Bloomington, Minnesota. There, on two floors connected by a staircase with ice cream cone painted walls, is the infrastructure necessary to perfect new flavors and products. In the office's newly designed test kitchens, QA, and product development labs, scientists work continually on quality assurance and menu development. How Dairy Queen soft serve is made is a tightly kept secret. Presumably, along with its labs, Dairy Queen also moved the safe deposit box that holds the secret recipe to Dairy Queen's famous soft serve to Bloomington. We do know what's in it, though. But before we dive into the details, let's get one thing out of the way. It's not actually ice cream. Yes, it's cold, creamy, sugary, and delicious. But according to the FDA, ice cream has to have at least 10% milk fat. Dairy Queen's soft serve has just 5%. Why? According to Forbes, the 5% fat content makes the ice cream perfect for serving at its signature temperature, 18 degrees. But Dairy Queen's soft serve recipe includes more surprising ingredients. Son, whenever we want a treat, we say moo. In fact, everybody does. That's because the greatest genuine milk treat is Dairy Queen moo. It's worth noting that 40% of a Dairy Queen soft serve is air. But that's not abnormal. According to the American Chemical Society, anywhere from 30 to 50% of any ice cream is. What's in the other 60%? Dairy Queen's recipe, as listed on its website, is full of FDA-approved but worrying ingredients. Take the mono and diglycerides, which ensure smooth texture. According to Science Direct, these can cause irritation in high concentrations and must be carefully controlled in food products. Then there's the guar gum that prevents ice crystal growth in soft serve. When used in other manufacturing processes, guar gum has been linked to asthma, abdominal pain, flatulence, diarrhea, and cramps. Dairy Queen also lists polysorbate 80 as an ingredient. Polysorbate 80, which binds ice cream together, has been linked to cancer and adverse reproductive effects in animals, although no human data has been found. Finally, Dairy Queen soft serve includes carrageenan, an FDA-approved carbohydrate derived from red seaweed. Carrageenan gives your soft serve the thickness you crave. Unfortunately, similarly to polysorbate 80, it's linked to inflammation, gut irritation, and cancer in animals. When you take a bite of your favorite version of Dairy Queen soft serve, you might be serving yourself an extra helping of dirt, sour milk, or cockroaches. Between 2015 and 2019, Dairy Queens across the country made local and national headlines for consistently violating health and safety regulations. In 2015, a Dairy Queen in Nogales, Arizona was shut down when local health authorities found cockroaches in the kitchen and expired milk being used for milkshakes. In 2016, inspectors shut down a Dairy Queen in Tampa, Florida after finding cockroaches in the soft-serve ice cream machine and under the blizzard machine. In 2019, health inspectors in Richmond, Virginia found dead flies on a prep table and pink and black mold in the ice machine at a local Dairy Queen. In Cape Coral, Florida, inspectors closed a local Dairy Queen for three days after finding roaches. Suffice to say, if you're planning a trip to Dairy Queen anytime soon, maybe check that their food safety certificate is up to date. Besides an extra helping of dirt, if you indulge in a trip to Dairy Queen, you may be in for more empty calories than you're bargaining for. Yes, a vanilla kid's cone has a manageable 170 calories. But let's be real, who goes to Dairy Queen for a kitty cone? The hard truth is that your favorite Dairy Queen options may not be so friendly for anyone following a 2,000-calorie daily diet. A dreamsicle-dipped cone? That will be 650 calories. A large peanut butter sundae? That's 780 down the drain. Dairy Queen's new tiramisu cake shake? Dairy Queen discloses that its large version of this dreamy treat has 810 calories. Or perhaps you're dying to try the frosted animal cookie blizzard. A large will cost you 1,310 calories. But the Royal Reese Brownie Blizzard? We hate to break it to you, but according to Dairy Queen, that'll be a whopping 1,490 calories. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite sweet treats are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.